then coming to the management plan you need to assess disease activity you need to assess disease damage because both of the symptoms have different treatment whether the symptoms are due to disease activity which will be inflammatory symptoms the disease damage will be mechanical symptoms like if the totally knee joint has been totally the knee joint has been damaged the patient will require surgery rather than your medicines because so you need to assess how much damage is there how much disease activity is there then extra articular manifestations will define treatment comorbidities these patients have increased risk of hypertension mi diabetes every metabolic syndrome you can think of and you need to plan a proper management of these manifestations as well now non pharmacological treatment like exercises they also play a major role then weight reduction also plays a major role you need to explain to the patient everything about the disease and the non pharmacological treatment then comes the pharmacological treatment considering all these factors so as i told you need to have a good plan disease activity and disease damage then you decide on the treatment so first is the uh, nsaids nsaids will be uh, useful in both axial and peripheral disease you need to educate the patient first about the disease that this is a lifelong disease requiring lifelong treatment then you need to tell the exercise the physiotherapy may be required rehabilitation may be required in many patients whom the disease has caused joint damage then uh, association are there self help groups are there to motivate the patient these patients may have increased risk of depression as well so we need to consider many facts about this disease and this disease affects young so may have a impact on the financial status of the patient as well if the patient may lose his or her job due to the disease so that you need to counsel the patient that you have to be active you have to be socially active you have to be regular with the treatment and sets are uh, useful in both axial and peripheral disease sulfasalazine has not shown or any demand has not shown much benefit in axial disease but peripheral disease definitely uh, they have shown uh, benefit then local steroids can be given in both axial and peripheral disease the sacroiliac joint can be injected either if you have experience you can uh, inject yourself otherwise ultrasound or ct guided injections can be given peripheral joints if a properly trained uh, physician or an orthopedic can injects those joint and tnf blockers are useful in both the disease and il17 blockers are also useful in axial and peripheral disease if the disease has caused damage beyond recovery then the patient may require surgery as well prep clinic dream beyond